Change is the only known constant in life. Yet, it's also a fact that be it in our personal lives or in businesses, we don't invite change. We don't embrace change. We try to, in fact, unconsciously avoid change. History is littered with many, many famous companies and brands who were known for their innovation and their flawless execution. Think of brands like Kodak, Blackberry, who were innovators of their time, but over time could not see the new innovations that they needed to adapt to and hence today have no viable businesses. It's indeed rare to find leaders who actively identify disruption and anticipate it. And Andy Grove is one such leader. He is an example of someone who led his company, Intel, through massive large-scale transformation. Andy was a legend to engineers of my generation. His books, Only the Paranoid Survive, and even his biography, Swimming Across, have served me in developing my own philosophies and deriving many, many lessons out of his journey. How many of us will have the courage and the acumen to cannibalize 100% of our products and revenue and move into a completely new area? and take our company to new heights. But this is exactly what Intel did under Andy's leadership in the 80s. You see, Intel was founded as a semiconductor memory chip company. And by 1981, the world market were moving more towards Japan and other countries who were flooding the market with cheaper and better memory chips. Yet, this constituted the founding product and 100% of Intel's revenue. Intel was the dominant player and had the lead market share in this space. The strong emerging competition made memory chips not a product of deep innovation, but now a product of commodity. This meant a deep reflection and acceptance. Though Intel was founded on innovation and engineering, Andy Grove recognized that competing in the memory chips was no longer about innovation and engineering. It was about massive manufacturing to reduce prices of memory chip to be competitive. In a famous conversation with one of the Intel founders, the legendary Gordon Moore, Andy is supposed to have asked if the board fired us today and brought a new CEO, what would he need to do? And Gordon Moore replied, he'd have to take us out of memory chip business. Of course, that's exactly what Andy and the rest of the team did. They walked away from their dominant market and their business in memory chip to take into the new emerging demand for microprocessors. And today we all know Intel inside means it's the Intel microprocessor that's the heartbeat and running all of our computers. He predicted that Intel can create formidable competitive advantage and differences and create a monopoly in this market and he proved just that. As you grapple through crisis, it's important sometimes to think about massive pivots that might take you in a completely different direction, but perhaps provide greener pastures, newer opportunities where you might be able to compete better 
and create a long term outcome. Strategy of long term vision and relentless execution were always key inspiring lessons I took out of this incident that Andy so successfully led as a leader. And I hope that's relevant for many of you today to think about. Thank you.